All right, guys, so we've got a couple trees. We tapped all our trees, and we've got a couple that aren't running that good right now. Actually, they're not really running at all. So I'm going to go down and take those taps out, and there's a few more trees we wanted to try tapping, but we ran out of buckets. So I'm going to move those off of those couple trees and try a couple new ones. I'll bring you guys along to see how the tapping process goes. This is one of the trees right here that's not running at all. It's a red maple. And it's right in our backyard here. So I'm going to pull this tap and there's one right next to us. And we'll grab those two and go find some two new trees to tap. I was gonna take that one down too right there, but it's actually running pretty good right now. So we'll leave it up. It probably started a little bit late. I know for sure the tree I just pulled is not gonna run. We tried it last year and it didn't run at all either. I don't know why. So we'll put it on a tree that we know runs better. All right, so we're gonna try this tree right here. I'm sorry if you can't hear me that well. The wind is gusting to like 40 miles an hour right now. We've done this tree in the past. We know it runs pretty good, so I'm going to try it out again this year. go see it's running pretty good i'll get you up closer you can just faintly see it but running pretty good it'll definitely do better than the other tree it was doing the other one wasn't producing at all so this is a good sign that this one's already running like this now they always seem to run really good when you first tap them so we'll see how this one does over the next few days but i have a good feeling it's going to run pretty good there so I just decided to move that one tap the other ones are running really good right now so I'm not going to move any of those it's probably going to be a two-part video so I just showed this quick example of tapping where I moved a tap tomorrow we're going to be boiling so I'm hoping to get some good footage of that right from setup until almost finishing we usually go inside to finish um, the syrup once it gets close to being done. So I'll try to get some good footage of us at least outside on the homemade evaporator we've got. All right, so it's later in the evening. It's back below freezing again. So it's time to go around and collect the sap that ran today. We use five gallon pails and we Go around and collect them with those and dump them into a 30 gallon trash can nice clean we use these just for sap we've got one here and then one down at the base of the hill right now this one is almost full so we'll probably top this one off and then whatever doesn't fit in here we'll put in the one down there all right let's go see what we got
can tell it didn't get very warm out today because there's still a big chunk of ice in all of the buckets. I got about five gallons from the first batch of trees. So I'm gonna head up and dump that in the storage tank up near our boiler. And then I'll go collect the rest and I'll let you know how much we got. Oh, there we go. I just finished collecting. We got about, I'd say 12 to 15 gallons today, which wasn't that bad. It really didn't start running until about one o'clock this afternoon when it finally broke above freezing. And it didn't get that warm today, probably 36 or 37 Fahrenheit. Just warm enough to run a bit. This is a 32 gallon trash can. It's full as you can see right to the top. So we've got some boiling to do. I'll see you in the morning. Well guys, we're out here boiling sap. It's Sunday morning, it's about eight o'clock, 8.30. It's supposed to be a beautiful day. It's gonna be up near 45 degrees. Perfect day for boiling. Got a nice hot fire going in there. It got down to about 20 degrees last night, so the trees should run really good today too with temps up in the mid 40s and all this sunshine.
Took about 45 minutes to get a good rolling boil going today. There's a lot of ice in the sap right now, so it was pretty cold to start. Now that the boil's going, it should come down pretty quick. We still have about 25 gallons or so, 20 to 25 gallons in that can. So we'll keep adding some as the pan gets lower and lower. I go for a quick walk to see if the trees are running yet. It's 35 degrees out right now. The sun is nice and warm and there's really no wind at all. So if they haven't started running yet, they should pretty soon. Nothing yet. Nope, still dry. Deep blue sky this morning. Beautiful day. The chickens are enjoying being able to get out on the grass after five to six months of being cooped up. You like this weather? <laughs> they still have quite a bit of snow in their pasture, but it's melting down good. There's Joplin. Drop one. Did you roll in the mud? You're all dirty. Huh? Hey. Yeah, they're running really good right now. I just collected these about four o'clock yesterday. This one's got close to half a gallon in it, I'd say. That's a good run. It's definitely getting there. It's got that amber color to it.
So we finished boiling it down as much as we could out here. We took the pan off. It's over there on the snowbank, cooling down. This is what we've got left for a bed of coals. Still quite a bit of heat kicking out of there, but it's safe to leave it now. We'll check on it a couple times. We've got one big full pot inside the house. That will boil down and we'll probably end up, we're assuming, with about four pints or so. We boiled, I'm going to say, 25 gallons or so. Probably 30 gallons. There's only a little bit left in here and the other one down in the woods is empty now. So, But the trees, we just went around to check the trees and the trees are running really good all day today. So there's quite a bit to collect again. The moon's coming up. Been wanting to show the surfing operation for a while now and finally got a chance to today. It was a beautiful day out. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.